Hi everybody, Michael Snyder here, Pacific Northwest Weather Chasers. December 12th, 2021, check out all the cold air over the Pacific Ocean. Pretty much a replay of last night, really. And I know everybody was hoping to see a little bit of frozen preset falling out of the sky. Not much to happen today. That looks like the convection is not deep enough to really tap that cold air aloft. So for now, the snow level has been staying above 1,000 feet, mainly above 1,500 feet, actually. As you can see, this cold air is still spilling off of Alaska. It is moderating as it moves across the Pacific Ocean and moves into western Washington and Oregon. So that's the reason for it staying rain in the lowlands. Parent low up here in the Gulf of Alaska it looks beautiful again as it spins. Over the next couple of days, this cold air is going to move down and eventually out of our area, but not before giving the mountains a pretty good snow dump. Looks like ski season starts in a couple of days here and should be a good one from what we're looking at here in the extended. So anyway, let's take a look at there's a slight chance for some snow tomorrow night, mainly Seattle North. Um, not a significant snowfall event yet, but we're going to keep a close eye on that and watch for any mesoscale details that might pop up. Uh, tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon and try to prepare for that event. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the European ensembles that ran this afternoon. And you can kind of see that this 10 to 1, one snow ratio really, it, it's pretty much useless in an event like this. You know, the European is saying we should have accumulating snow starting at SeaTac now, and all the ensembles are showing it, but we're just way too warm at the surface. And this convection is not tapping enough cold air. There's not enough convergent bands to get up into that cold air. There's not enough instability. And yeah, this you can see how you can easily be tricked by some of the raw data in these models. So let's go ahead and let, take a look at the HER. You can see for tomorrow evening, you can see some of this colder air. This is at, I believe, 700 millibars here, 10,000 feet. Some more cold air is gonna move in over the area with an upper level low just off the coast on the her bringing some cold air with it and there might be a just enough of some convergent zone areas aloft where the southerly winds meet some of these westerly winds as the upper level low passes over the area so we'll have to watch that maybe it can tap into some of that colder air aloft and bring the soil level down to the surface for a brief time or at least while the precipitation is falling the nam shows this upper level low pretty well here is 5,000 foot winds. You can kind of see the southerlies blowing through the sound here at 5,000 feet. You can kind of see winds out of the north and northwest would be converging with these winds and maybe giving just enough lift where we could tap some of that colder air aloft, bring the snow level down to the surface, and you know maybe give a dusting of snow. So you can go see we go from northerlies here at Monday evening, and then it kind of goes westerly by Tuesday morning. So there's going to be a little bit of convergence there, just upper level low moves across the region. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at, the NAM's been doing pretty good today. It was showing all this rain in the lowlands, didn't show any um, accumulating snowfall or anything. But as you get into Monday, you can see as the upper level low goes overhead, kind of starts to paint a snow band setting up mainly Seattle and northward. So we're gonna have to watch that. Shouldn't be a significant snowfall event, should remain just above freezing. But we might get some accumulations on grassy surfaces, cars, uh, rooftops, et cetera. And you can see that band kind of slide down the Puget Sound a little bit there. So we may see some flakes fly yet. So don't give up hope just quite yet. But it's still somewhat of a long shot. Um, so snow lovers, if you don't like that news there, you might like this a little bit better here. Because this is the European Ensemble run. This is showing. December 23rd night into Christmas Eve, you can see this big Arctic high has parked itself over British Columbia, and there's some good pressure gradients and some good result in troughing off this Arctic high over the Pacific Northwest. This would be giving some a northeast outflow from the Fraser River Valley into western Washington here, and this is what you need for some snow in the lowlands generally. So that, that's a nice signal to see there in the European ensembles. And let's go ahead and throw this into the future. You'll see another one on the heels of that coming out of the Northwest. Again, this is 360, 360 hours out. But again, the signal is good. And the GFS is also showing the same big ridging over the Pacific o Ocean, which allows this North flow and allows this Arctic air to build and maintain itself over British Columbia. and. Let's go ahead and look at the GFS there too. This is the same time frame. This is the zero Z 
just running now. So you can see that first wave moving down over on New Year's Eve into Christmas Day. I mean, what that would bring a white Christmas right there. That's a powerful low, 982 off the Oregon coast, right by Astoria. Really a classic setup there. And you can see the tight gradients into British Columbia and the high pressure over Alaska and the Yukon, just big Arctic air mass. That would be a snow lover's dream right there, but we're, we're way out there, but the signal is good. So it's something to be encouraged by and something to look forward to. And boy, look at that 1064 millibar high over the Yukon and still the troughing just kind of hanging out over the Pacific Northwest, multiple snow chances in a scenario like this, strong pressure gradients, plenty of cold air to get down the snow level down to the surface. Let's go ahead and take a look at the upper air temperatures. Let's look at the 850 millibar temperature and something like this. I mean, look at that, just BC, just entrenched in cold air. Just snow lovers dream there. This would be Christmas day. And then you can see that just kind of get entrenched over British Columbia and just probably have multiple chances of snow and a setup like this. 700 millibar, 10,000 feet. You can see it's just well spread over the Pacific Ocean all the way down over the Northwest and the interior. A very impressive signal. So something to look forward to in the extended. Uh, it's, of course, it's still 12, you know, actually 10 to 15 days out, but you know, that's when these things start showing up. Once the GFS and the Euro start agreeing on things like this, it tends to have some, it tends to increase confidence a little bit. So you know it's something to look forward to it's it's better than it's better than fog and stagnant air or just you know drizzle so um stay tuned on twitter i'll keep doing these every day and i'll keep taking a look at these signals right now you know it's thumbs up for the future um for snow lovers western washington oregon british columbia and, and it's pretty much guaranteed that the mountains are going to get are building a really good snowpack and that's going to continue on into january that's looking really promising so if you're planning on a ski trip, you're just, it's just open season anytime from now on into January. It looks pretty good. But yeah, stay tuned on Twitter and I'll keep doing these updates daily. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm getting my live setup going so I can go ahead and do live briefings, take Q and A's and take questions from you guys. Maybe do some local forecasts for anybody that wants to know. And if an event like this gets close enough, you know, the hype is going to reach maximum levels and it's going to get pretty crazy so stay tuned on twitter and let's see if i can get to a thousand subscribers before this arctic mass bears down on on us and you know maybe we'll maybe we'll get that done so all right i'll talk to you guys later